Hey, how you doing? No cameras. Oh, okay. Hey, y'all. Hello. He's at the door. Sir. Okay, they want to come in and ask you a few questions. Hi, we're standing today in solidarity. We're standing today to talk about the high unemployment rate in the black community. There's at least 60% unemployment for black American citizens here in California. Today, we're right across the street from Lamert Park. We're here to take a stand. We have had enough. We are not being represented. We're not being represented by politicians in California. We are not being represented by politicians in Washington. We are people. We are human. We are citizens. We are taxpayers. We need jobs to support our family. We need jobs to survive. We have been kicked out of the job market. There are people here that are working here that should not be working here, and they have 90% of the jobs. I just want, just want to point out, I'm uh, Abdul Aziz. I want to point out the sign right here. It says uh, it's a project of what? Department of Public Works, City of Los Angeles Cultural Affairs, and Mir Mir Miragosa's name is all over this board. So we're wanting to know why you're using federal projects money on federal monies to do this project and there's very few if no blacks working. This theater is almost completed. There's other projects scheduled for Lamert Park. I'll bet you that there's hardly any blacks who are going to be hired unless we put pressure on them. Now I asked them next door why weren't blacks working on this project? They passed the buck to the city. Then the, then, uh, the city he says maybe we ought to unions. And from the unions, they say, go to the schools. It all equals out to the same thing. Blacks have no place in the workplace. Well, we're not going to stand for that. Enough is enough. You know, I, I, I got a little slogan I was going to try to introduce called BMW. You know, that's a nice little car. But it means blacks must work. We need to work. Question a black employee, I like to ask the question directly to the mayor and to old mayors and those in each district. I'd like to know how a city employees or county employees in, in the blue collar force, 80% of them is Spanish in the unions and none of them speak English. So therefore, how did they put in their applications? What is the method and operation and the conspiracy in the city to keep other people locked out? And why are our people that are obviously there watching it transform themselves into other cultures besides themselves? I think that is the question of the day, and I think it's high time the hammer blow be given to such nonsense and foolishness, you know what I'm saying, the belief that we're this ignorant. A person that can't speak English can barely, how can he possibly fill out an application? My name is Calvin Perry with Freedom Lodge Number 1, and I just want to pose a question as to why businesses are continuously being built in our communities without the help from people from our communities. They say they can't find competent black workers. We all know that that's not the truth. They say they can't find consistent black workers. We know that's not the truth. What we need to do is stand and join together as a people and have an active voice as a collective and let these people know we're not going to continue tolerating being shut out of our own communities or you'll be shut down. You know, it goes back to when um, Lawrence Fishburne showed some in the movies and was saying uh, how they put liquor stores and all this other stuff inside our community and don't address it. Okay, but it's time for us to stand up and start putting more adapt and education into our communities. But it's all always up to us. As a parent, I need to do it also. Shut it down. 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 Sh